NASA just discovered life on Mars? What's up with that? First, under the UAP Disclosure Act of 2023, the government disclosed identifying aliens on Mars living in pyramid-like structures. And now NASA, in its recent discovery, has found the clearest sign ever of life on Mars. And this changes everything. Mars, the red planet, is full of mysteries that scientists are eager to solve. Long ago, Mars had rivers, lakes, and possibly oceans. Today, most of that water is gone, either frozen beneath the surface or lost to space. The big question is, where did all that water go? And could Mars have once supported life? A year ago, we thought we found uh, what we believe to be signs of microbial life uh, on the Mars surface. And so we put it out to our scientific friends uh, to pressure test it, to analyze it, and go, did, did we get this right? Do we think this is signs of ancient life on Mars? And after a, a, a year of review, uh, they've come back and they said, listen, we can't find another explanation. Um, so this very well could be the clearest sign of life that we've ever found on Mars, uh, which is incredibly exciting. In July 2024, Perseverance drilled into a mysterious rock, which they named Chayava Falls, located in the Bright Angel Formation of Jezero Crater. This area was once an ancient lake, making it the perfect place for life to thrive billions of years ago. If we say NASA just found life on Mars, we're being a little bit, uh, getting out over our skis um, a, a little bit. This is um, possible life on Mars billions of years ago. We're not talking about life on Mars today, but what's really exciting about this is it's, um, it seems to be legitimately the best evidence we've found for something on Mars that needs life to explain. This isn't just any rock, it's unlike anything ever analyzed on the red planet before. The sample, nicknamed Sapphire Canyon, contains mudstone, clay-rich sediments that are perfect for preserving life signatures for billions of years. And they turn out to be these, these iron minerals, things called vivianite and regite, that you find on Earth. And where you find them on, our, on Earth, they're usually associated with, with microbes doing things to organic matter. And then they look at this spot and they analyze it and there there are organics there. So there are, are organics, carbon stuff, and there are these minerals that on Earth are usually associated with life sort of using the energy uh, and and it, it's kind of what life leaves after its meal, you know? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Microbial poop, is that what you want to call yes, it? Yeah. <laughs> That's, it's, it's what's excreted after the microbes eat. Scientists call it the potential biosignature rock. NASA's instruments found organic molecules, chemical patterns consistent with life, and sedimentary structures hinting at biology. But here's the twist. To confirm life, NASA needs to get the rock back on Earth. If life really did exist on Mars, this brings us to the time when the government revealed aliens living in pyramids on Mars. Under the UPA Disclosure Act, it was disclosed that the CIA's Project Stargate, which deployed the tactic of remote viewing, an ability to psychically see events, sites, or information from a great distance, commissioned psychic operatives to remotely view and find the whereabouts of aliens. It is here that the intelligence agency is said to have established the presence of humanoids living on Mars. A former CIA operative, Joe McManeagle, who was part of this project, has gone on record declaring what he saw a 10 feet tall humanoid taking shelter in pyramids on the red planet. The former operative describing his experience stated that an officer asked him to view a site, the location of which was written on a piece of paper in his pocket. Putting his psychic abilities into motion, the former operative saw huge pyramids. According to him, these pyramids were bigger than the pyramids of Giza, with exceptionally larger rooms. Further investigation led him to find that the shelter was some form of protection for the survivors of some cataclysm, and they are currently in stasis waiting for somebody. However, all the humanoids were dead. This was not the end. As he continued to remotely investigate the said site on Mars, he found that the bodies in the pyramids were not entirely human, but a special race of humans. Once the remote viewing was over, the former operative was shown the piece of paper written, Mars, one million years BC. Well, this was the recount of a supposed psychic, but there are satellite images of Mars that have time and again shown structures with four and five side walls, 
basically conical pyramids. The terrains of Mars also comprise mysterious mountains. Could these be the same alien pyramids that the remote viewer saw in Project Stargate? Mars continues to captivate us. It reminds us how much there is to discover in our cosmic neighborhood. The mysteries of Mars are not just about a distant planet, but about our search for life and understanding of the universe. Perseverance also captured stunning visuals of the crater, showing channels and rocks shaped by water. NASA is also analyzing chemical ratios and isotopes, looking for patterns that only living organisms can create. Scientists caution that natural processes could mimic these signs, but the potential is mind-blowing. Perseverance's rover isn't alone. Other missions like China's Tianwen-1 and the UAE's Hope Probe are also studying Mars's atmosphere and surface. From ancient lakes to possible microbial life, Mars is telling a story we're only just beginning to understand. Even tiny carbon signatures or mineral patterns could be proof that life once existed here. Think about it. Future scientists could hold the first alien life in their hands. Every rock, every mineral, every speck could tell a story billions of years old and of the red planet's past. And if we confirm life, it proves life isn't unique to Earth, it's cosmic.